This is the Pixelbook Go. So this is the sequel to 2017's Google Pixelbook, which I love and still use to this day. So the Pixelbook Go offers everything that offers, but a lot more configuration, uh, definitely a new design. You got the vision back. It's, it's about lighter. It's about almost two pounds, 13 millimeters thick. Uh, you can actually open this a lot easier with one hand. The other one you could, but it give you a little bit of resistance, a little stiffness. This one opens and closes pretty smooth, one finger. Uh, you still got two USB ports, USB-C ports, one headphone jack. Configurations start as low as uh, Intel Core M3 and goes up all the way up to i7. RAM, 8 gigs or 16 gigs of RAM and storage up to 256 gigs. All these are, all this offers a 1080p display, but if you want to max out completely, you get the Core i7 version and get a 4K display. So you do have the joys of a Google Assistant button. The speakers are definitely a lot louder. And then the two megapixel camera sounds terrible, on, sounds terrible on paper, but I managed to get some pretty decent looking shots and it's capable of 1080p video for those who use Skype and do a lot of things. So I'm definitely looking forward to checking this guy out. It comes out in two colors, a pink color and a black color. And yeah, that's the Pixelbook Go. Uh, nice, nicely improved, but kind of streamlined sequel to the other, a bit more premium one. So, you know, by streamlining it and offering more options, they made it a lot more affordable. It starts at 650 and different things. So the other one started at close to $1,000. Definitely a better move to make in regards to coming from Pixel so Didn't do too well last year. So Pixel Go, uh, let us know your thoughts on it. I like it. Let us know if you have any questions about it. Sound off in the comments below. If you get anywhere in the world, you're here with us. And see you next video. Peace.